happens is mostly when such a thing happens on social media. Guys just the trust. memes are insane. Yeah, the memes and, and those the gags and stuff like that. It's yeah. just mostly not about a very concrete thinking. People don't like analyze just make it. Fun of it. Yes, just make fun of it totally, totally. And the way, the best way to do it is by memes. Yeah. And those kind of internet gags which and one, stuff like that. And trolls. Caught your attention. Uh, the Kiboko like, Haram was a nice uh -huh. one. And, There's and, one with and Obama and uh, like TV with breaking news. I didn't see. Yeah, it yeah. The, uh, you saw that? Yeah. Oh, you saw that? Yeah. This, yeah. And then he's calling Obama. And then there was one of Fimbo Machinani. You know, they, they say Pesa Machinani. So now it's Fimbo Machinani. Uh -huh. And then there's um, another one of Okoraila. You know, yeah. Um, Okoa Kenya, he's saying Okoa Kenya, so now we are Okoa Raila because now we're beating him up and stuff like that. Yeah. So I think those are the interesting, the, what, the written ones. The memes ones, I wish we could see them, but the written ones yeah. is Fimbo Machinani, especially. That really, that really stood out for me. Fimbo okay. Machinani, yeah. So, other than that, mm -hmm. there's a limousine lure. What's this story about? Um, some guy, some lure guy. His name is Maka, Maka something. Okay, mm -hmm. lure names. This guy goes to Nairobi Hospital. Apparently, he lives in an apartment. Uh, according to what I saw yeah. and what we saw. He lives in an apartment and then he rents a limousine and rents a Chrysler and rents a Range Rover to go and collect a kid that has been born by his wife at Nairobi Hospital, mm -hmm. which could pretty much cost him a million plus. You know, so I'm trying to do the math. Eh? You're living in an apartment and you're spending plus one million something to go and collect your kid. Well, I watched the story yesterday yeah. was yeah. covered. And yeah, um, yeah it's, he said, you know, this is the first child. He was very excited. His friends were excited for him. Yeah. And that they were all involved in just making this really huge moment. Who came like, with the limousine to pick you up in the hospital? And you turned out great. Same case to me. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, this well, is just that is not to take away from whether this kid will turn out great or not. I think everybody, each to the, they, they have their own way. Their they own. have their own yeah. way of celebrating their you issues know, and stuff like so that. So excited about a new baby. Yeah. Good. And I don't think we should judge him just because he's living in an apartment and did this whole thing. It's okay. That's the only thing is, uh -huh. and, and the question that was put to him by this um, journalist mm -hmm. was that, uh, you know, I hope then you've also planned for his future so that it's not this grand yeah, this welcoming whole thing, and then to the world. The boy just goes to some. And then after that, you know, there's no like that. money to. I educate. want to believe it's planned for his future, yeah. but that thing I've never ever seen that. But then again, coming from. Uh, so that was too flamboyant. Too, no, no, no. It's not too flamboyant, given that he comes from the community that is known to be flamboyant. If that was like a queer guy, I would have been asking questions. But no, he comes from the community that is known for being lavish and flamboyant. Yeah. yeah. I think anyway. I enjoy life. You only live once. You I know, know what? Some I know. I should have been a lure. It. I should have been a lure. That's amazing. That's no, awesome. No, you should just borrow a leaf. You don't need to be. <laughs> I cannot borrow a leaf, man. I'm so kikuyu and come by me. That's anyway, no. I, I think... Uh, but that's nice. Coming from It was him, interesting to see and that. And romantic as well. It was romantic. I mean, who doesn't want to be picked And the wife was surprised. She didn't even know, apparently. She didn't. She and you know what? Know one of the it, things yeah. he was saying is that after watching her go through labor the whole night, yeah. oh. you know, it was like, yeah, this woman is strong beyond. She mm -hmm. needs just this mm -hmm. special treatment. Mm -hmm. Calling the son a prince. I don't know what the name, the real name is, but... The name is Jaden Cole. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Very nice name, right? Do you say? Jaden Cole. Yeah. yeah, so it's good yeah. that he also, he had read some of the you know, comments and feedback mm -hmm. people were giving mm -hmm. on social media, mm -hmm. and he took it in and stride. Most of he took it, it very was well. Positive, actually, if you yeah, it was positive. A of lot course, of it was no, positive. But also in equal measure, there were those who were hating, yeah, and then course, there were those who were saying, "Any Jaluita Kuwa boss." Yeah, you know that. We know that the <laughs> yeah. whole Jaluita Kuwa. But that was we nice. did that story. That was good. That, that was, was romantic. Nice. That was nice. But I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Now we know. I wouldn't <laughs> do that. What happened with the limousine? Yeah. This this guy apparently he imported a a limousine Audi from Dubai. An Audi limo. Yes, Audi Whoa, limo. I'd from, like to see that From one. Dubai, which he says is for strictly purposes of renting out ah, okay. to, to maybe weddings and stuff like that. Yeah, that, that's pretty much the information we got about it. Mm -hmm. We saw it, we saw the limo, but we don't know so much about Fred Gumo, or his son, actually. But we all know is he rented, uh, he imported it from Dubai to yeah. a cost of pretty much over 10 million plus. I think it's good business. That's what it told At us. least it's not it's good it business. just a ride around. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's okay. good business deal, That's good business. if you ask me. Yeah. Um, why is Vera again uh, trending? You know why she's trending, right? I don't know. She always is trending every week. Why is she and why you, anyway, it's you I'm so disgusted that she's trending every week. Okay, don't be disgusted. I hate it. Uh, why, is she, why is she trending? Because she came back looking like um, 
a horror movie character. Oh you, saw, you, thought, uh, you saw that, right? <laughs> you know, yeah, I she saw was this scary. picture. She was scary, yeah. I don't know whether it's photoshopped or not. No, real. it's not photoshopped. It's real. Where she's with this other chick who's like, you know, pecking uh, yeah, her. Yeah, pecking her. And, and some other dude. She looked super light, yeah, like white. You, know, you could yeah. even see the line between her foundation uh -huh, and her skin. Uh -huh, so her yeah, lightened yeah, skin that. and this and, foundation. And you remember, she had disappeared insane. since September 1st. She was not available on social media at all, at all, at all. Kind so of reminds we, we us of Michael Jackson and you know how he just yeah, was you know, on this role and of changing and... Michael may, Michael may have spent a <laughs> lot of money trying to change his face yeah. and see how it turned out. So it doesn't matter how much money you spend. But I wrote an article on Gafla saying if I was Vera Sedica, Which you're not. Thank I God. would bleach as well. You know, that's what I said. I don't mean bleaching as such. But given she her... skin lightening, not bleaching. No, bleaching this is, is bleaching, because really, really that's what it is. Everyone <laughs> on social media calls it bleaching. Okay. Uh, given who Vera Sedica is, yes. she's a socialite. She has to be at the top of her game 24-7. Now, you know you have to look better than any, every other female in this country. But who said looking better is being light-skinned? Uh, where so does she that get, is what they're get, trying to break. Uh, you know, you know why? And that's you know not why? something you want to entrench in society. I'm, and with I'm the not young trying kids to entrench. Up. I'm not trying to entrench. Let me be very honest. Very, very honest. Men, I'm gonna say this, what I know about men. It's not men necessarily like true. Men, I don't know, they prefer light skinned. I don't you know. Just say light skin, take it, take it. Light skin, get further in life. I, I know uh, that. I'm gonna no. tell you the Ooh, truth. I'm sure there's someone throwing a stone Sophia on your skin no, no, right no, 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 no. I, just, I do true. not agree. Light skinned, get tell further. Me, I don't Lupita love light skin. How many Lupita Lupita Nyongos 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 do we have? No, 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 no. Look just at Omotola. Look at Omotola. Look at um, uh, Rita Dominic. We Nigeria. cannot even agree. You cannot even make that argument. Check it, check it. There was a Nigerian, there was a Nigerian musician who came to Kenya and he came to this show. I guess you hosted him. He, I guess it's Iyaya. Iyanya something. Either Iyaya or this other guy, Banner Boy. And he said in Banner Nigeria. Banner is full of himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Nigeria, we prefer the women who are a bit light skinned. We don't love those things in Nigeria. Let's leave so it at the, this. There are men who prefer light skinned women. Then there are those who prefer, prefer dark skin. skin. But to but each their own. We cannot then make an argument that the light skinned are, ones are, are, are the ones are, are. who are better or they get ahead in life or have. The, no, I are you think that's, that's warped thinking. I that know, is, we I should know, not even say that on national TV. Like, but we, we shouldn't face reality. We shouldn't face it. It's a shame. It's a shame that there are those. Shame. think that way. Yeah, it's a shame. But you should not think that way. You I are more do people. not. I appreciate everybody. I'm mean, come mm. on. You just said I mean, it not I do now. Not. I I'm do not. I'm going to put I you mean, on the spot on that one. All my friends are dark skin, including me. And they're going to be bashing <laughs> you after this. But no, it's it's a reality. So yeah, it's okay. a reality. And we have to face it. That's my business, to face reality. Sophia, I mean, really. But again, now she posted a photo celebrating a birthday. Did you see mm. that? Uh -huh. No. Uh, she posted a photo celebrating her birthday. But what is interesting is that all the pictures now are taken at a long shot. So where was the birthday party? Um, she didn't tell us. What did she tell us? Because the thing she about these socialites and people, mm. they want people to know how much was spent, where, yeah, who yeah, came. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. no deeds on that? Um, because probably she's afraid of guys showing up and taking too many photos and taking too much info. Especially people like us, girls. She's already put herself in that position where she wants people to. She take posted all these a few things. photos. What, what she did, she posted a few photos where I saw at least like five friends of hers celebrating the birthday. So it was just a party of hers and five friends. That's Whatever. All. Let's move on. Yeah. Akon. Mm -hmm. He's performed in a bubble. Yeah, you saw that. I did not. You didn't see that. I know. I'm just, okay. That's why right. you come here to tell me yeah. and everybody else. Yeah. Akon went it. to um, went to Congo, mm -hmm. which is really a country that is can be prone to Ebola. You remember Ebola actually started in Congo, so then it was this place where he has to be launched to the crowd. You know, how celebrities like they perform then they, like jump. Oh, so this is a bubble to protect him from catching Ebola. <laughs> yes, some big bubble, and then he was put inside. Then he went to the crowd in the bubble. So the crowd is like just trying to turn the bubble around, the bubble around. Then they took him back to the stage. He came out of the bubble oh, because of the bola. Which, if you ask me, nice move. I would do the same. I guess, yeah. Precaution. Nice move. Yeah, nice. Exactly, precaution. exactly. Especially now when the U.S. is talking about their first ever diagnosed mm -hmm. case of Ebola in the state. There is actually an NBC reporter mm -hmm. who is suffering from Ebola in America right now. No. Yes, it's on CNN. Go check it out. That's serious. An, yeah, this NBC one is one of the biggest in networks Africa? in America. Was the reporter in West Africa? I do not think it's the same person. There is an NBC. You, you can check it out. Oh, it's on CNN. Crazy. One of the biggest networks in America, NBC. One of the reporters actually has Ebola. It has been, re you know, reported this morning. And you know that thing. I mean, the disease, if it just is not managed, yeah, it's that spreading. could it's spreading. terrorize it's spreading. the world. And I don't know what this country is thinking about it. I don't yeah. know want to go there, but 
I hope this country does something about it. I do not know what this country is doing about it. Well, about we've interviewed the CS and mm -hmm. they said and put measures together and all, but uh, let's hope we don't yeah, have to please, deal with that. Yeah, please, let's really, really. So, really anything hope. else that was so Who is going to the Hague? Yeah, everybody's talking about yeah, that. Yeah, who is going to the Hague? And the funny thing is, MPs and other 100 MPs. You guys reported that. Over 100 MPs. Traveling, yeah. And African presidents. And yeah. Which to me, I think, is absolutely absurd. And yeah. preposterous. Go. Solidarity. Uh, really? What are you going to be up to this weekend? Um, uh, we are going to Athi. There's an Athi festival. There's uh, uh, another festival. Uh, Chameleon, uh, Bahati. And he's coming actually on the show. Chameleon and Bahati will oh, be on the show to yeah, talk about yeah, the Athi yeah. fest. So, and yeah. tomorrow, mo tomorrow daytime, we are going to be at um, Harry Square. Mm -hmm. um, that is Ruaka. There is a, there's a Churchill, Churchill show kids event that okay. is going down. And tonight we're going to be at Safari Park. I'm a nominee, most influential Facebook personality. Hello. Kabuga, yeah, for baby. You, everybody. Everybody okay. voted for me. I hope I win. I mean, last year I lost. I was nominated as well. You lost to who? I lost to um, a person I forget. And I forget intentionally. Can you imagine that? It is good but to forget. To I, I also won an award last year, most influential blogger at the Extreme Awards. Well, we wish you the best. So it's going to be tonight at Safari Park. Please, if you can come. Okay. We appreciate We appreciate Enjoy your weekend. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for coming. Next appreciate. week we'll definitely have those pictures. It's always interesting yeah, to see yeah, what's yeah, also yeah, in know, terms of I images know, been on social media. Know, Thank you. Up, please, if you can. Uh, Kabuga from Gafla with us on now. social media chat this morning. We cross over to DJ Genius after we come back. Smita is with us today to set the record straight on this sexual harassment allegations against him. So he'll be giving us his side of the story. Of course, more from the hot pics on the Nairobian and the Pulse coming up.